All right, guys, today we're going to learn how to vertically align things in CSS. If you haven't played with CSS already, take a look at my other videos and you'll realize that it's really hard to uh, get a vertically aligned element within another element in CSS. So let's jump onto CodePen and get started. Okay, we're going to name this pen here vertically align elements. You'll notice that I've changed my uh, setup here a little bit. I just moved all of this to the side so that you could better see the screen that I'm working in here um, as it automatically renders as we go. So here we go. I'm going to make a div class. We'll call it container and div. And then here I'm just going to put a simple uh, paragraph tag here and this should be centered. Awesome, let's call that paragraph. Yeah, paragraph vertical. Okay, so our container, we will target that and we'll say, let's see, um, width 100% just to make sure, uh, let's do 50% width, and then we'll say text align center. Cool, cool. Our uh, div itself will get a margin of zero auto to put it right in the middle. And then we will give it a ton of padding just to make sure that it is big enough for us. So padding, let's say uh, 100 pixels. Boom, okay. All right, and we'll even give it a little bit of this going on so that it's not right at the top. Now, if I, as soon as I get this a background color, you will see that we have this thing here. Sorry, it's the padding's fault. It looks <laughs> vertically aligned, that paragraph really does. But it's because, let's change this to a height of 200 pixels. Okay, so the reason it looked like it before is because there was padding on all the sides, making it look like what was in the middle was actually vertically aligned. That's sort of a hack if you want to do it that way. This way is a little bit more reliable. So we'll say paragraph, vertical, and I should say this works in almost every instance that you try it in. If you're having problems with it, comment in the video and I'll help you out. So paragraph vertical is going to get a position relative, okay? All that's going to allow us to do is uh, position it within the div that it's in uh, based on some pixel values we give it. So top, we'll say, uh, we can give it a percent, so we'll say 50%. And uh, we could give pixels. The problem with pixels is 5 pixels, 50 pixels, 500 pixels. See how it just pushes it straight to uh, the bottom here. But 50% uh, allows us to know that it will be in the center. Now if you look closely, you'll see it's not quite centered. What this is doing right here is putting the top of our paragraph element um, it's, it's putting the top 50% of the way down. So this is 50% right here where my mouse is, but the center of the element is not. So what we do is we cheat a little bit and we say transform. And then we say translate y negative 50% perfectly centered in the middle of our div. And the reason is we go down 50% and that's the top of our paragraph element. But then the, the transform makes it go up 50% of our paragraph element. So the element inside. Okay, so 50% down of the parent element, which is the div, and then 50% of the paragraph height upwards. So that places it exactly in the center. If you're still a little bit confused, go to the code pen in the description and uh, try it out. Play a little bit with my code pen. I promise it'll work. 
as long as you get it right. So this is pretty straightforward, pretty simple stuff, but a lot of people don't know. So go ahead and give it a shot. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, found it helpful, comment with any questions or ideas, and uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't die. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to save that.